In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new campaign in Pardot. So here we are in Salesforce in the Pardot Lightning application, and you should have a tab that says Campaigns. Go ahead and click on that, and then you're going to be looking at the Salesforce campaign view. So this data here is campaign data that lives within Salesforce. This can be a little bit confusing because Pardot also has its own campaigns. Now in this particular org, we've set up a feature called connected campaigns. So whenever you create a Salesforce campaign, it will automatically generate a corresponding Pardot campaign and connect them. Now, a few years ago, they didn't have this feature available. So you would have separate Salesforce and Pardot campaigns and manage them independently. Uh, this is definitely an improvement. So come over to the campaigns tab and just click new. Then you can name your campaign. Maybe we'll call this 2020 webinar. Make sure you mark it as active. And then all of these other fields are up to you. You know, Pardot doesn't need them, but they're helpful for your own management of your campaigns. I like to add a start and an end date personally. So we'll say, let's say it's next month, perhaps on Friday. And you've got flexibility around how you want to use these start and end dates. Some people set them uh, from the beginning of when they start working on a campaign to when they're done reporting on that campaign. When it comes to events, I typically use the actual dates of the event. And you can add a cost, whether budgeted or actual as well. Then once you hit save, that's going to automatically work in the background to push the name of this campaign into Pardot. Then as you create email templates and um, forms and landing pages, you'll be able to choose a 2020 webinar example campaign directly from within Pardot. So that's pretty easy. Uh, I hope this helps and I'll see you in the next video.